All right, guys, today I wanted to speak a little bit about a Halloween documentary that I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably have heard of, uh, even if you haven't seen it. Today, I'm going to be talking about the A Cut Above the Rest documentary, giving it like, I don't know whether you want to call it a review or whatever. But yeah, A Cut Above the Rest is the documentary to watch if you're a big Halloween fan, especially of that original and the team that were, you know, that made the original, you're going to really like this documentary. It goes into a lot of great detail on the making of, and they're like truly small yet effective, like collection or group of friends, family that made that, you know, that first film possible. Another great part of this documentary is we get to hear from Donald Pleasance himself in it, as well as John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, Jamie Lee Curtis, PJ Souls, Nick Castle, and so many more. And we hear from them firsthand on their experiences with certain situations and aspects of the film. And yeah, it really is amazing to hear how this film was made, you know, especially that first one, you know, from the casting of our main characters to how we got the Michael Myers iconic white mask. If you've got an hour and a half spare and you're up for some Halloween content, that is what to go and watch. Cause you know, even though you may know some things or you've heard them before, it's just a good thing to watch because it, it puts it all in one place and it does a good job as well at kind of summarizing the evolution of the franchise, how certain things came to be. We get mention of Halloween H2O in this one as well. So, you know, it goes all the way up to the other Halloweens um, and conversations around them, what certain people thought of them. But what I really love about this documentary is how much we get to hear from John Carpenter in a complete honest way of what he did and didn't want to do. We get some great footage as well from Donald Pleasance, kind of behind the scenes, uh, his thoughts on scenes as I'm sure sure uh, some of you may know but he wasn't sold entirely with the first film you know he found some bits cheesy and you know some of his lines and how they needed deliver and he wanted to do things his way at times so yeah it goes into that a little bit and that's really good to hear about so to sum it up there's not really much more else to say other than i just want you guys to go watch it if you haven't already uh, because i think it's a great watch for horror fans even if you know halloween's not your favorite genre it's just a good one to watch it's an hour and a half of information and talking points for you and your friends if you like horror. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about that a little bit, just in case some of you guys haven't seen that yet, but you can watch it actually for free at the moment on YouTube. If you just search a cut above the rest, yeah, the whole thing is posted on YouTube. Uh, it's not in the best quality, but you know, it's all there. So that's a way to watch it. You can also buy it on Amazon and stuff like that. So yeah, if you've got an hour and a half, I heavily advise you go and watch it. Let me know down in the comments below as well if you've already seen this and what you thought of it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Just a quick one. I wanted to just talk about that a bit. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.